The reaction of sodium with a pure alcohol is actually a single displacement reaction where the sodium takes the place of an H on the alcohol group. That Na takes the place of the H. You end up with CH3ONA, which in this case is called sodium methoxide, but the meth oxide is only because it's CH3O. And then the hydrogens that were kicked off need to form the diatomic molecule H2 and are given off as a gas. So this works for almost any primary alcohol. If I was going to react sodium with, say, propanol, that's C3H7OH, I'm simply going to end up with C3H7ONA, sodium propoxide and the hydrogens that were kicked out of the original alcohol molecule are given off as hydrogen gas. Do you want one more example? We can do butanol if you'd like, C4H9OH. Add sodium to it, the sodium takes the place of the H on the alcohol. C4H9ONA, and then hydrogen gas given off in the end. Because you are getting gaseous diatomic uh, hydrogen as a product, it means you need two of these reactions happening each time you want to get one of those out. This is just me going ahead and balancing what we had originally. And lastly, I want to point out that some people would prefer you not write it this way. It kind of implies that the bond between the carbon chain and oxygen is the same as the bond between oxygen and sodium. It is definitely not. This is C4H9O with a minus charge on it. And then the Na has a plus charge on it, but the ionic bond helps keep those two attracted to each other. That's just the way it is. Not bad, not too difficult either. Best of luck.